Hello all. It is 1134 at night on Sunday night. I just got home from the John Mellencamp um, concert, uh, which was fabulous. Special appearance by Bruce Springsteen. I'm not, I like Bruce Springsteen's music, but I'm not a big fan of him. People that have gone to his concert said that the first like half hour, 40 minutes, he's talking politics. John Mellencamp can be political, but his music has been like Scarecrow. Um, it's about the farmers and the loss of farming and all that. And, um, he talked a little bit. He he said, I don't like to put on a concert. I like to put on a show. And that he did. Fabulous. Uh, he really, really was amazing. Never disappoints me. Yesterday, I got up. I was awake at 6 o'clock in the morning. Why? I don't know. Got ready. Was ready for 8.30. When my granddaughter got, well, she got here about 20 after 8, but we left at like 8.30. And we went to an Easter egg hunt at the American Dream Mall. I The only experience I had at the American Dream Mall is I parked by Saks Fifth Avenue, went in and returned something from my boss, and left. So it was nice to walk around. It's huge. Um, it has Nickelodeon in it, a water park. Oh, I think it's part of Nickelodeon. I'm not sure. And But we went to the Toys R Us, which is right next to Nickelodeon. I was prepared to go into Nickelodeon for like, a, they have like, the least thing they have is like a two-hour pass. But my granddaughter didn't want to go in. She was very happy to look and look at the rides, and she didn't want to go in. But 10 o'clock was the Easter egg hunt. So we went in, we did the Easter egg hunt. Um, before it started, they, you know, checked everybody in and we were standing there. Jeffrey came out and then the Easter bunny. And so she ran around and got the eggs. They were actually right out in the open. Then from there we went and she wanted to check out Nickelodeon. There's like, um, an area where you can look over into it. So she enjoyed that. And then there was the sheep things. And oh, I don't know. It's You can move them. And they're, they're very heavy. But I guess it's like you're corralling up sheep. And she was enjoying that. <laughs> Give me a pass on this one. Because it is 1137 now. And um, then there was this other thing round thing with like a hole towards the side back of it and she jumped in there and she's like I want to show you my cannonball and I'm like but she just was jumping in there and then she was jumping off of this thing that actually had black and white like if you looked at it you got dizzy and she was jumping off of that and jumping very high um we were waiting for because we took a walk a little bit but then she wanted to see Nickelodeon I'm like oh do you want to go in there she's like no I don't want to go on the rides I'm wearing a dress she knew she was getting her picture taken at some point yesterday with the Easter Bunny so she dressed in it she goes I have to dress fancy then and the new shoes I bought her she wore she loves them she's like these are so comfortable and then we went in to Toys R Us <laughs> When it first opened because they gave you a voucher for as long as they last, a free gift. And I'm thinking, I want something tiny or whatever. But it was a gift bag size, uh, not a huge gift bag size, but big enough. It had, you know, Easter grass in it. It had a pop it thing, which was, oh my God, it was bigger than this. I can't even describe how big it was. It was a cupcake. Then it had those, that kinetic sand thing or whatever. And the jar was like this big. So it was good size again. Um, an Easter pencil with what I thought was a calculator, like this little 
thing hanging off, plastic thing hanging off it, like on the keychain. And she goes, Nima, it's a tablet. And I'm like, oh, okay. So. And. Oh, a puzzle. It was a Jelly Belly puzzle of the Easter Bunny. And it's supposed to be made up of, of look, look like it's made from jelly beans. And it smelt like jelly beans. And so she was very excited for that. Then we went into the sugar place. <laughs> she got a container about this big. Um, and round filled with candy. It was $19.99 because for this, um, Chinese food carton container like thing, it was, um, $17.99. So I'm like, might as well get the other one because it was bigger and you could fit more in it. And I kind of like geared her towards like solid things and then jelly beans and then little gumballs and you know back and forth so that I could you know shake it and get the smaller things down in between the other bigger things and then from there we went to watch well we took a walk by the Easter Bunny to find out where the Easter Bunny was we went by the ice skating rink and I told her one time we'll come back. Oh, I feel sorry I'm yawning, but it is late. But then from there, um, there was a cheerleader, I call it like dance cheer competition. We were sitting there, sitting there, and they were giving out the awards. So she's like, let's go. Because they weren't going on again until 1230. So it was like, Five to 12. And I said, okay. I said, okay, you want Mrs. Fields cookies or Wetzel pretzels? I think it is. And she's like, oh, I want pretzels. I want pretzels. And then when she goes, oh, do I want cookies? Oh, I can't decide. I said, no, you said pretzels. So we're going pretzels. She goes, I don't want the ones with the salt. I said, okay, that's fine with me. So we got a lemonade, shared that and the pretzels with no salt. We sat by the Easter Bunny. We ate them. She ate most of them which I didn't care. She wanted cheese with them. Uh, I don't like that cheese. And I didn't want to eat a lot of the pretzels. So then we went to see the Easter Bunny. They take really cute pictures. The best one was her hugging the East, sitting next to the East Bunny, and then she hugged him, and, oh, they snapped that picture. And that wasn't even planned. So one of them they want. They're like, you know, do peace sign, and do this and high five and I don't know a couple other things but then that is the cutest picture so I stole that one from my son so I love that and then from there um we went and had gelato for lunch and actually this gelato had less sugar, a lot less sugar, and a lot less fat. I forget what the sugar, sugar was like eight, maybe six, between six and eight, I think it said. And the fat was between four and something. Four and 10 could be, I don't think it was that high. Maybe it's four and eight. I don't know, but I know it started with four and it could even been between four and six. I don't know. I'm very tired at this point. And then from there, um, so my granddaughter got a very small kitty cup and she only finished half of it. She wanted to really put her puzzle together. So she put her puzzle together there while I finished mine. And then from there, we went in this one store where she's like, can I get a toy in there? I'm like, sure. And she says, I don't like anything in here. So it's like, okay. Then we went and we were walking and looking at some stores. And then we went in Toys R Us. And Toys R Us had a slide. So I watched her. The top, at the top of the stairs, you can see the girl going to the girl at the slide. And so I saw her go to the girl. 
And so then I ran down the stairs and she comes down. I'm like waiting and waiting and waiting. And she comes down the stairs by herself. And I was like, I go, and she's crying. And I'm like, what the heck? What the heck happened? And I was nervous doing that. But I'm like, uh, she's like, Mima, I'll be fine. And, and I was like, all right, I'm going to watch you go to the girl. And then I'm going to run downstairs. She goes, okay. She says, the girl asked me where my mommy was or, or who I was with and said, I can't do it without an adult. I'm like, I have to go down with you. She goes, no, you have to bring me up there. And I'm like, I was at the top of the stairs. I could clearly see you walked to her. So the rule is you have to. So I'm like, this girl's wondering where where her, her Mima is. And she could say she's right down there at the bottom waiting for me. She could see me on freaking camera. So I found out what the deal is if you're there. She'll take your child. And when she, you go down and she sees you on camera, hello, like, then she'll let her come down. So I'm like, okay. So I went up and of course my granddaughter wanted to do it again. And so I had to go up the stairs, bring her to the girl again, then go run down the stairs. And when the girl saw me on camera, she let her come down. I'm like, that's it. You're done. Two, two times. I can't be running up and down these stairs. So then from there, I, we went outside, put her shoes on, went back in and she got me for this LOL doll thing which she loved. And I, and also I bought, it was a dollar 99, um, bunny bingo because, um, I guess technically her cousins, uh, were coming over for sleepover, two girls and a boy. And it's my son's girlfriend's nieces and nephew. So she was very excited for that. So I was like, Oh yeah, you can play bingo. And she's like, I don't know if we'll play it, but that's what the candy was for. I did let her chew a piece of gum and she didn't chew it very long. And she was like, I need to spit this out. I'm like, okay. Um, but the pictures with the Easter money were just precious. And she was so excited to meet the Easter bunny. And then from there we went and I got my ticket vouched. And I think it's $5 all the time. And because it was $5, it was $5 when I was only in and out, I don't know, with my boss. But I turned around and um, I was on the wrong level. I had to go down one. So I said to this guy, are you going up or down? He goes, I'm going up. I was okay. So I pressed the button and it opened. And then I pressed the button. It opened as the doors closed. So I said to him, this is going down, it says. And he goes, all right, then get on. And I'm like, okay, dude, like chill. You're the one that told me it was going up and it's going down. So you don't know where you're going. So we went down a lot. I'm like, oh, yes, now it looks familiar. And so I was like, OK, because it didn't look familiar because we took the escalator up, not the elevator. So and I didn't remember that we went up and the whole thing. And I really should have paid better attention. But I was more focused on making sure my granddaughter was holding my hand and she was safe because it was pretty crowded. So when we left there, um, she was trying to fall asleep when first she opened her thing that I got her. It was an LOL doll. And then from there, we, she was trying to fall asleep. Like, and she just kept coughing and coughing. She has bad allergies. So I guess, and she was like upright, but I guess when she went like this, she would start coughing. And so she didn't fall asleep. So no nap. And I really actually went, instead of the parkway, went nine south and, you know, took the long way. And nope, didn't fall asleep. So she was very excited. But she, when we were eating the gelato, she goes, Mima, I love you. This is the best day ever. Thank you. And I was like, oh. Of course, shortly after that, she asked if she could if she could get a toy. But no, that I mean, she's genuine. And then when we were leaving the mall, she's like, Mima, I'm filling up with tears. And I'm like, why? What's the matter? And she's like, I don't want I don't want to go home because I don't want this day to end. And I was like, oh, you're melting my heart. So, oh, I'm <coughs> oh, sorry. So then I came home. I was exhausted. Supposed to go meet my friends. And 
it was pouring and it was just one of those days. <coughs> I've been coughing and didn't scare you, Jess. So then from there, um, I, I said, you know, I text my friend, I'm going to take a nap and whatever. I did not wake up till almost nine o'clock. Then I was awake till just after two and I started dozing and I look and every, you know, my phone says three, like three twelve or something. And my, you know, my half asleep and my Alexa says, um, three twelve. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? I forgot the clocks go ahead. So I I think it was two o'clock. It could have been one o'clock, one something. I don't know. I, I was just half asleep. I just know that. And one minute it's, you know, it's one time and the next minute it's an hour ahead. And I was like, what? I dozed off and I woke up at seven something. And I usually wake up at like six something to pee. So I was like, oh, that's weird. Oh. Oh, sorry. And um, time change getting to me too, I guess. So then I got up this morning and I was tired and I laid back down and I got like, I don't know, like 1130 and which is really 1030. And so I got up, I organized some things for the shower I'm going to next weekend. I put that together and I'm still waiting on a set of pants but I don't think they're going to come in time for the shower. And then all the stuff for my grandson-to-be for that shower, which I'm going to have to put those in my closet because the 23rd is my friends coming over. And then the th friends are coming over about 10 people. And then the 30th is my nieces and nephews on... Um my in-law side. So I'm like, oh, crap. So yeah. So that's a big. So then from there, um, today we left for the concert and we got there early and we went to this place, Nico's, that is like right next door. Very, well, we had appetizers. We decided an appetizer because we weren't sure if we were going to like the salad. And it was a very limited menu at the bar. We didn't have a reservation. So it we had these um, Brussels sprouts. Oh, my God. A guava and sriracha glaze. And it was more a guava, the, you know, sweet than the than the spicy, kind of aftertaste. I guess it was a balance. And they were delicious. Then we had hummus with roasted chickpeas and carrots, cucumbers. But the cucumbers were like long strips, cut skinny. Celery, which I did not eat because I actually, towards the end of eating it, I started choking on the chickpeas. So I was very annoyed with that myself that I did that. And then um, we went into the concert and I bought this. Um, I splurged for a hoodie. I've never had a John Mellencamp hoodie. Never had too many hoodies. So I was very excited for this. I actually was wearing a Ranger jersey. I love it because it has a little cross. And I just, it's simple. And um, nothing on the back, which... The t-shirts, I know they have stuff on the back, but no. And we ran into this lady and she's like, oh, she's like, um, I was like, oh, what do I want to get? And she's like, I know. Um, I said, and my sister said, oh, remember these shirts? Remember this? We've gone to, this will, this was our third concert together. John Mellencamp concert, I should say, together. One was at the PNC. Before I was married, I don't even know if I was dating him at the time. It was right when John Mellencamp had his heart attack, so I, 
I could look up the year. I'm not sure. Um, I think I was dating him at the time. I don't know that we were engaged. And I don't know why he, I think he had to work or something. I don't know why he didn't go with me. But then he went to Jones Beach, but supposed to, but he had the heart attack. So that was canceled. And coming back to PNC was canceled. So I'm like, yeah, I was glad. I did that one. And then Bergada was another one her and I went to. And now the NJ pack. So I was so, it was, oh my God, the concert was freaking amazing. And he does, like, he told, he told the story, and I heard this in an interview, that he was sitting in this restaurant with these, you know, very expensive restaurant. And he's looking out, and he sees this girl, like, obviously homeless, and he says, oh, um, you know, talks to her, and she said she'd love to go home. And he's like, oh, I'll buy you a plane ticket, I'll buy you, um, you know, bus ticket, whatever you want. And she's like, they don't want me at home. They say I'm too much trouble or, and oh my God, I break my heart. So he pulls out a hundred and he says, do you want, you know, when was the last time you had a good meal or whatever? And pulls out a hundred and she, he's like, and she goes here, do you want, and she's like, do I have to have sex with you for that? And he's like, no, she's like, she grabbed that hundred and ran and She's like, thank you. As she's running away, he said, she said, thank you. Um, this is the first time I've had a free meal that, I, you know, and I'm like, oh my God, this is so sad. And who are her parents? And okay, you don't know what she's done to them. And I say to some people, oh my God, why did they put up with their kid doing this and this and this and this? But we all know, well, most of us would um, put up with a lot. But, and then he said um, a story about his grandmother when she was dying. And um, he was lying with her when she was 99 and three quarters. She died when she was 100. And he would like, you know, go over in the afternoon, lay with her, talk to her. And she said, you know, told him that he's, you know, he better clean up, stop smoking. Clean up. He's like, oh. It was a very cute story, very cute story. But then she's praying and she's in talking in another tongue. And, and then she goes to English and goes, uh, me and Buddy, that's what she called him. She never called him John. Buddy, are ready to come to you, Lord. And he's like, oh, no, Grandma, I'm not ready. He goes, I still have some hell to raise. And he said, you know, and um, so... He gets his, it, it, there was a story about that. I mean, a song about that. So he tells little stories. I like that, that he, what is behind? And there was a story, Eyes of Portland. And that's where he saw this girl. And so he gives, I love that there is a reason behind most of his songs. And that he tells you the story behind the songs. And yes, can he be political? But he was not standing up there being political tonight. So I really applaud him for that because this guy who's never gone to see him was there with his sons. And he was like, did I hear you've been to like 25 times? And I was like, yes. Oh, my God. I don't know that it's 25 times, but it's a lot. I've seen him a lot. And he was like... Oh my God. He's like, you know, uh, is he political? Did I, have you heard about this? I was like, no, I ha I really haven't. I didn't want any spoilers. Like if he done something special, he always does an acoust acu acoustic song. And that was the eyes of Portland. And I had heard that story. I don't know if it was an interview. Well, it was an interview, but I don't know if it was from his book or if it was a live interview that I saw that he told that story. So, but yeah, so that was very, oh, it's just amazing. Oh my God, he's just phenomenal. So it just really was a great show. So, and he said, I love this one phrase. He says, go out there, get sunshine on your face 
And um, he says, and human wheels, because it says, you know, the light on my face. And he's like, go out there and get sunshine on your face. And he goes, and don't give a, don't give a fuck. Even after all the fucks are, there's no fucks to give, you know, um, like just go out, enjoy life. You never know. Life's too short. Like, it, 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 like I said, he has these little commentaries in between or whatever at the end of a song, the beginning of the song, not all of them, but some of them. And I just love how down to earth he is. And I think that's what drew me to him from the beginning from the very beginning so but it is 12 o'clock i am as you say my eyes are closing so i need to get into my pajamas and wash my face as i did wear makeup to the concert and get to sleep because morning comes way too soon but i hope everybody had a great weekend it finally stopped raining sometime today actually it stopped raining here before we left for the concert. And when we were going up there, it was like a wet snow. On the way home, it was snowing, but it was not sticking because the ground was too warm here from our 50 plus degree days all last week. And walking the dog tonight was a feat in itself. And it was just freezing. And it, it was more because it was so windy. But I hope everybody has a great week ahead. Um, I have a lot to do this week. And just apartment-wise. Uh, I have things under the bed. I was trying to wait till I had the money for these roll ones that had wheels. But there was other ones that were really cheap. I think they're four-pack and a four-pack. And I got two, so I have eight. Not sure, but I put new sheets on my bed and these are so freaking soft. Oh my God. And now my question is though, do I put my spring summer stuff in these or do I wait? But I think I'm going to put my spring summer stuff in because I can always just pull it out. So I just have to get under my bed too, because I have to, um, my dog, she has some of my clothes under there because she likes, and they said they like when it, it smells like you and that's why they lay on your clothes, they take your clothes. So I have to pull up my suitcases and that, and I have a pair of eight boots that I think I, I put, I think my friend Mary gave me them and I don't know why she would have gotten an eight. And they're brand new, but they don't fit me. They're too narrow. If they were an eight wide, they'd be perfect. But they're kind of like a cowboy, but like a short cowboy boot. And I don't think so. I don't think they're going to work. So I tried them to get my foot in them. And it's like, oh, no, that is not happening, honey. Unless I try to stretch them. I don't know, because they are really cute. But we'll see. All right. Before I just fall asleep on you people. Or start yawning again. I am going to say good night, and again, I hope everybody had a great weekend and has a great start to their week. Bye.